All right, in this video, we're going to talk about mean shift and cam shift in OpenCV using Python. So we will start off by saying what it is, why do we need it, how does it work, and jump right into a coding example. So by the end of this video, we'll see how we could track the kayak here on the right. So what is mean shift and cam shift? So mean shift and cam shift are both object tracking algorithms. So we'll go explain how that works later on. But mean shift tracks a static box and cam shift what it does is there's an adaptive um, part to it where the box will dynamically change based on the how close or how far or yeah usually the scaling will change of the box so that aspect will be changing so that's the dynamic part so why do we need mean shift and cam shift it's for robust object tracking so based on how the algorithm works it's sometimes good for uh, sensitivity to different things that's happening. And one benefit of cam shifts, like we alluded to, is that if the object moves closer or further away, you want it to have the box change with the size. Okay, so how does mean shift and cam shift work? So if you look at mean shift, the way it works is by shifting the center of the window to the centroid of the window. So what does that mean? Well, first off, we have to run the back projection algorithm, which we talked about in one of our videos. And what that does is it shows the high probability regions or high density regions of the image that matches your region of interest. So usually in your picture, you're going to choose an area you care about, and then you try to match that. And in our case, we're using HSV. So at the first time step, which we call T0, the center of the window is at the centroid. The center of the window is at a centroid, right? So um, here we have the centroid, and then at T2, the object moves a little bit. So the window is at the same location, but the centroid is shifted. So what it tries to do is it finds the center of the window, and then it tries to shift to the centroid where most of the points are concentrated. So it, you keep having this repeated pattern where you have your uh, center of your circle, shift to centroid, center of circle, shift to centroid, and then eventually your centroid will match the center of your circle. So that's when you stop. Okay, and then for cam shift, how does that work? So we use the same operation that we did in mean shift. So we apply all the same steps. And then after that, what you want to do is update the window size by this amount. So this is empirically figured out. And then after you do that, you compute the orientation of the best fitting ellipse. So sometimes the box may not be in one orientation. It may be um, rotated. So it does some calculation based off of the ellipse. And you reapply the mean shift until the window converges. So that's the general idea. OK, so let's jump right into the coding. OK, so here is our mean shift and cam shift program. So here we import the modules that we need. And then here I have a object tracking function here. So inside this function, what we do is we first read in the image. So I have a kayaking video that I'm reading in. And then we create a video capture object here. So um, we're going to first read the first frame, and then we plot the first frame here. Okay. And then after we plot the first frame, what we do is we want to extract the region that we care about. So in this region, we define a top left x and y coordinate, and then the width and height of the window. Okay, So after you do that, what you do is you get the region of the image, and we plot it to check it. And after that, we want to start using that image region. You want to get the HSV version of it, because we want to um, make sure it's not sensitive to the different lighting conditions. So that's why we're using HSV. And then here we define a lower limit for um, 18, 200, and 0. And remember, in our HSV video, because of how HSV works, it's going to range from 0 to 180. So that's why we're dividing by 2 here. So these values here we empirically determine based off of um, the best, um, making it fit the best for our application. So here you do a mask, so CV in range. What this does is it's going to use the upper and lower mid limit to try to find the area that um, to get the region. So we get the we get a mask from that, and then we apply a histogram to the image. So based off the histogram, we use that to compare, um, do a 
back projection later on to compare the histogram between them. So here we do a normalization. So we pass in the histogram image region and we pass it in here again. So uh, we talked about a normalized function in a previous video. So I won't go into more detail here, but here we pass it in to normalize and then we need a termination criteria for our algorithm. So this termination criteria, what that does is it'll um, figure out some of the details for us in terms of when to stop our iteration. So um, you can see right here, the termination criteria is, we're gonna pass it in later to our mean shift and cam shift algorithm, which you see here, which we're defining on the top. But what that does is if you look here on the right, the criteria is a three tuple, and then it tells you the iteration termination criteria. So you specify the type, so there's an EPS and count. So the EPS is, it stops if the error is reached, and then you have a count, which stops if the max iteration is reached. And then max iteration is how many iterations maximum, and then EPS is your uh, float error, okay? So that's what the termination criteria is. And then we have the color which we're using to draw our box. Okay, so I just chose some color that will stand out. And then here is the main loop that we run through. So inside this loop, what we do is we're gonna read in each frame one by one. And then um, if the frame was read correctly, we're gonna convert our current frame into HSV and then run the calc back project. So that will figure out which area of the image best matches the region that we want. And we're gonna have two cases. One is a mean shift and one is a cam shift. And uh, for the mean shift, it's pretty much the same in terms of the function inputs and outputs. So um, that makes our lives a little bit easier. But what this does is it'll return the window tracker, which is um, a four tuple of your new window location. And then based off of that, uh, it takes as an input the back projection, which is a m by n array, the window tracker, which is a four tuple, and then the termination criteria that we talked about. Okay, so once you get that, we're using the CV rectangle function to draw our rectangle onto our video frame, and then what that takes us what that takes in is your video frame, and then the coordinates of your uh, two points on your rectangle, and then we pass in the color and uh, line thickness. Okay, so if I go ahead and run this, we'll see it in action. So you see this, this is the or original image and then this is the region that we want. Um, this is plotted in BGR here. So here you can see uh, me kayaking and it's tracking this kayak here with this green box. And notice the box stays the same. It looks like it's shrinking because the, the kayak is actually um, getting closer, but the box is staying the same. So that's where the cam shift comes in, where we talked about previously. So if I run the cam shift algorithm, you'll see the box will start adjusting to the size. So if I run this, you see this box is changing both in size and orientation based on off of where it thinks it is. And you can see that it has successfully keep tracking. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.